In this video, I'm gonna talk about should you be incorporated or stay a sole proprietor? And more specifically, how one move could avoid a massive lawsuit. So specifically, we're gonna talk about a few things. Number one, why being a sole proprietor is like the worst thing you could do for yourself. We're gonna talk about the differences of corporate structure. This is more US centric, but it's gonna work all over the world in principle. We're gonna talk about the tax code. Yep, that big old tax code here in the United States is what it's known for is 81 to 83,000 pages the tax code exists today and how do you absolutely take advantage of every part of that system. And number four and critical, why you don't do this one on the cheap. So let's get started. So why not stay a sole proprietor? I promise you the biggest mistake of accountants around the world is this horrible phrase. And I want you to comment right now if you've been told this, you don't make enough money to be incorporated. It's not about income people, it's about intention. So I want you to write that down, income versus intention. So if you wanna be rich, you wanna live like the wealthy, like my book, The Millionaire Maker, you wanna act, think and make money the way the wealthy do, we make money inside our companies. Our companies make money, we don't make the money. So what we're taught is to have a job, and then you make money, right? That's the only way you personally should ever make money is because you have a job. The rest of your money should be made inside corporate structure. And so if it's not made inside a company, you can't do all the deductions we're gonna talk about in just a moment. But I wanna frame this even more critically. It's about the intention, do you want this? And if you do, it's not about how much money you make because the minute you start a company, I'm gonna teach you how to keep a company for the rest of your life, if not even pass it on to the next generation. Could you imagine your kids and grandkids having a company that's over 100 years old? I can guarantee you it will be a multi-million dollar structure. So all of that being said, let's go back to sole proprietor. Here's how damaging sole proprietor land is. You start a business, well, number one, it feels like a little hobby because you haven't really invested anything. You haven't got incorporated, you didn't get your bank accounts, you don't have corporate credit. So you're just gonna try this little thing. So it, you treat it like a hobby and it doesn't, you don't have a lot in it, so it doesn't take a lot to take it down. Here's the bigger problem. It's based on your social security number, or if you're in other parts of the world watching, it's your personal number. So the problem with that is you already have your potential job and you as an individual social security number, so you don't have any other credit access where once you get incorporated, your company has corporate credit, your company has a tax ID number. And let's just be real, most of our clients end up with company number two and now company number three. So can you imagine, let's just use an example that you have three companies, one you invest in real estate, one you do maybe the stock market and crypto and one is your core business. So you may have a job and that money goes into your personal bank account. Now these three companies, they each have the right to do their own taxes, their own corporate credit, now you have access to four kinds of credit, right? Your companies have access to credit, your companies have access to credit cards, your companies have access to SBA, which is Small Business Administration Loans, which you don't have as an individual. And I could just go on and on. So being incorporated versus sole proprietor is enormous. I have clients that have been a sole proprietor. I'll use a hair salon. I won't use her name. I'll change her name to protect the innocent. Call her Sally has her hair salon, 18 years. Now just imagine what she was blessed to not be sued if she totally screwed up someone's hair, they could sue her. If somebody walked out of her hair salon and tripped, they could sue her, right? And by the way, the building was hers too, still in a sole proprietor, not held in its own LLC. So how she should have been structured is the real estate in its own entity, and then the hair salon moves in and it leases and pays rent to the real estate company. That's the better way to structure it. And for her, she gets all these tax benefits. See, as a sole proprietor across to all of that, she got very little depreciation or any deductions on the real estate part that could be a business, but the hair salon, worse, right? As a sole proprietor, the financial systems just see you as one person. They don't see you separately. So you don't have a secondary source of credit. You don't have a secondary bank account. And here's what happened after 18 years. This is the devastating part. She actually got incorporated, right? And she's in a state that's very favorable to an LLC. So she started her LLC. We got our corporate minutes. We got everything set up. And she started doing her tax deductions, right? Because now she can deduct a ton. As an individual, you can't deduct. I mean, you could probably deduct a little rent. 
Um, but not really. I mean, really, that real estate office should have been at her home and deducted her home office. She didn't have a lot of legal reasons to deduct hardly anything. It was a Schedule C tax return. Horrible. Bigger issue is when you look at the Secretary of State, which is once you get incorporated, you actually file documents with the Secretary of State. For her, it looked like she was a brand new company. She's like, Laurel, but I'm 18 years old. I said, not according to the financial institutes. And that's what bothers me. The accountants don't tell you that it's not about income. Right? I'm that mom, I'm that mentor who's going to say, when your kid's 18, give them an LLC, get them an entity for their birthday, because the intent is that they're going to become an entrepreneur, they're going to become a wealth builder, and they're going to set their life for success. So the problem with this Sally and her sole proprietor for 18 years, here she is 18 years later, looks like a brand new company, day one, the day she did it. Now the work begins. She has to take all of that sole proprietor business down. She's got to take down the bank accounts the merchant services. So she's got 18 years of history as an individual, but not as a company. The benefit is to the company, not the individual. And again, back to intention. Do you want to be rich? Get incorporated. Do not stay a sole proprietor for even a day. Totally not a fan. Plus a sole proprietor, even solopreneurs, I don't even know who made up that word. That just sounds like suffering. Like, why would you want to work alone? I'm not going to run a company by myself. I'm going to get a team and I get to be free. See, a lot of you got to like, again, subscribe to my channel, like right now. I have so much to teach you. I cannot wait to like continue to coach you and help you through some of these decisions and the misinformation. So again, if there's misinformation, you're saying, oh, that's not what I heard, put it in the comments. I'd love to comment on another video and we will sort all this out over time. So let's talk about the tax code. Like literally, I want you to get this. As a sole proprietor, again, you get a Schedule C, which is a very small one page tax return. You get incorporated, you get 81,000 pages of code. You can take your clients golfing, skiing, all those things you hear the wealthy people do, write your car off, you can write off uh, business trips. You're never gonna go on a vacation again once you start the process of becoming wealthy because your company has to do shareholder meetings. You're gonna have to go on business trips. So there's just so many advantages in the tax code. The other thing I just wanna mention, and I mentioned it earlier, but we gotta dig in a little, is don't do these on the cheap. Yes, you can go to the Secretary of State by yourself. You could go to the $99 incorporation company by yourself, but here's the problem. You don't get all the proper paperwork. You don't get articles of incorporation. You don't get a buy-sell agreement. You don't get an operating agreement. If you're a corporation, you don't get bylaws. So all those documents are required to go open a bank account. So I've had clients say, oh, I don't wanna pay like a fee to have it all done right. I just wanna get it done cheap. Well, cheap has a problem and it has a price which is cheap. And honestly, depending on the state you're in, with the documents that you get from the cheap places, you can't even open a bank account. You can't even provide the documents to get a merchant service, whether you use Stripe or Square or PayPal or whatever you use. So critical, you do it right and methodical. And if you say, do not be that person that's, oh my gosh, it costs money to open a company. Um, the goal of the company is to be really, really, really lucrative and profitable. So. Come on, folks, let's do do it right. Get incorporated. Use the tax code. Don't do it on the cheap and start your life proper. Start your kid's life at 18 as an adult proper. We'll make a millionaires in three to five years. So if you've enjoyed this conversation and I'm sure you have a bunch of questions just based on the comments that you're making, I want you to take my quiz. I have a financial personality quiz and it's going to grade you on where you are financially. Now, it's just not a quiz that just stands there front facing. It actually comes to our office, comes to our team, and then I give you back an educational video again about where you are and what your next step should be based on what you've done to yourself. And again, don't be embarrassed or like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I've done all these things. I have seen it all after 25 years, all of it. So, Nothing surprises me. Let's just start where you are and take you where you want to go. Take my quiz. Click on the link below.